Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to save and retrieve data in JavaScript in your front end code. To get started, I've made us a simple website where we've got an input field for entering data, a button to save the data, and somewhere to display that data. And we've got the script.js file right here that we're going to be using to write our JavaScript code. The website itself looks pretty simple like this, and you can write some data in here and then we'll save it. But we haven't written the code yet, so now we're going to write it. The first thing we want to do is write a function to save our data, so we're going to call it function save data. Once you're done with that, we'll go back to your button over here in your HTML and make an on click for that function, save data. Now all we have to do is write our JavaScript code. So the first step is to get our input from up here, our user input. So we get that by writing input value, right? That's our variable and we get it from document and we look for the ID, which is user input and we get that value. So that's gonna be our user input. The next step is obviously to save the data. So we're gonna be saving that using local storage. So we're gonna write local storage set item. We're gonna call our local storage user data. That's where we're gonna be storing it. And we're putting in our input value. The last step we have to do is display our data so now we're going to write another function to display our data the first thing we're going to have to do now is get our saved data from our local storage and then also we're going to need a reference to where we're going to put our new data you know the data that is supposed to appear as saved data like down here display saved data we need to find that so we're going to be looking for the id saved data which is right here this p tag the next step is to create an if statement to check if we even have any saved data because we might not have any saved data if this is is the user's first time on the website so we check if it's true and if it's true then we're going to set the content of this p tag right here to our saved data otherwise we're just going to say no data saved yet and the last step is to make this code run as soon as the website is loaded so we're going to be running window.onload equal display save data which is our function of course and the reason we need to do that is because we need it to load in any saved data if there is any as soon as the website loads and once we've done that we're completely done and we can press control us to save everything and go check out our website as you guys can see right now it says no data saved yet so we're going to type in hello and press save and it turns into hello the real test is if i refresh will it be there or not and i refresh and it is still there which means it is being saved adios